What's up guys, it's Russian Magic here today, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys an awesome trick. But before I teach it to you guys, I'd like to thank someone, and that someone is Ben Evans. He's been a great help in helping me create this effect, and please just do me a favor and check out his channel right there. And if you like his stuff, make sure you just subscribe. But basically this trick is an original trick created by yours truly, myself. And if you would like to see a performance of the trick, you can check this link right here. Or you can just wait a little bit and I'll perform it for you guys real quick. Basically this trick is an invisible deck. Except you don't need gimmick cards. You don't need to spend $7 or $10 plus shipping to get a deck there. All you need is two standard bicycle decks you can pick up at Walmart or whatever. So without further ado, let's get right into learning this little trick. Alright guys, so I'm going to perform it real quick for you guys. So basically I'm going to have, the deck is in this box, I'm going to have the spectator think of a card, but there's no spectator here, so I'll just name one. Six of spades, okay. They can say any card, but just for explanation, say, let's just say they say the six of spades. So you spread the deck out, look for the six, six of spades, and there, there it is. They could have picked any card, but they picked the six of spades, which happens to be the only red card in a blue back deck. So guys, I'm going to go through the uh, setup of the deck and what you need to know and how you need to know it. So here it is. Alright guys, so I'm going to reveal the secret to you guys right now. The secret is basically you have a deck that's set up in such a way where it alternates from red, blue, red, blue, all the way through the deck. Now, I did not gimmick this deck anyway. I didn't shave off the edges of any cards. All you're going to need to get is two contrasting decks. For me, I just used the blue and red bicycle standards. But you can use any contrasting decks as long as uh, the faces are the same. For example, don't use a... Uh, if I can get it, a bicycle, bicycle zombie deck with a bicycle standard deck because you see the faces look completely different and that's not going to work. But get decks with a similar face. So once you have your deck, you're going to take out, let's just say you have the red and blue. You're going to take out a few reds and a few blues. It doesn't matter which ones you take, just take them out. And what you're going to do is alternate them from red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Right now all you're doing is you're testing which color is dominant, okay? And what I mean by that, if I dribble the deck like this, only blue shows up. That's my, Blue is my dominant color. For you it might be red, I don't know. But if, you, if I switch it, angle the deck upwards and dribble it this way, and angle it the deck so the spectator can see it, only red will show up. So you need to figure that out. For you, it might be blue only show up if you dribble the deck like that. And uh, just in case if you don't know how to dribble, most of you guys will know how to dribble the deck. I'll leave a link right here. Uh, but basically what a dribble is, you're just holding the deck like so and you're applying pressure as you're letting the cards go. But to kn knowing the dribble, how to dribble a deck, is paramount for this effect. Once you figure it out, your dominant color, you're going to take out, for me it's blue, so I took out all of the diamonds and uh, if I can find all the diamonds and clubs out of the blue deck. So you want to just remove all the diamonds and clubs out of that blue deck. Then you're going to remove all the spades and hearts out of the red deck or your uh, non-dominant color. Okay, so after you have the deck set up, and it doesn't matter what order the spades and clubs are in or whatever. So you can see I have heart, spade, heart, heart. Uh, spade, heart, it's random order as long as it's alternating red, blue, red, blue, okay? Alright, so what you're going to do is to finish the setup, you're going to put your dominant color on top, so blue, it's for me, so the blue card's on top. I flip the deck face up, I insert it into the, the box, and the box doesn't matter, it can be a blue or red box, whatever you want. And I insert it like this, where the face up is facing the back of the tab, okay? So when they call out a card, let's say King of Hearts, I open up the box, and the face they see the face up of the box. You don't want them to see the back yet. So they say, they say the King of Hearts. Now I'm going to show you what, how to handle the deck. So they say the King of Hearts. I up jog the King of Hearts, 
tell them to take it. When they take it, I don't put the cards back to where they were. I break off where to the card where the King of Hearts was, and I take the card that was in front of the King of Hearts and put it on top of the deck. And what this allows you to do is instant reset the deck. You can just put the King of Hearts back there, and it's sandwiched between the two blues, as you can see. Okay, so they say the King of Hearts, that you give them the card. What I say to the spectator then is I said you could have thought of any card, any blue card in this deck. And I say blue just to reassure that it's blue. And after I dribble, I even hold it there just so they can see all the blue. But you thought of the only red card in the whole deck. And if you have a table round, as you saw me do in the performance, you can even dribble and then as you move your hand, and it gives an illusion that you're ribbon spreading the cards. And then you can flip it over. And to finish this, all you have to do is you don't want to square it up like this because you can see it can flash. What you want to do is finish the ribbon spread by just doing that. It's really simple. And to clean up, all you have to do is take the heart, put it on top of the deck, and how the deck is situated when you cut, swing cut the deck, it'll cut right to a blue. And then it's instantly reset and you can just put the deck back into the box. But just uh, to be cautious, when you do cut the deck, kind of angle it towards yourself first because there is a chance that you'd cut to a red card and that would be bad. So angle it to yourself first and then when you see that's blue, then you can angle it to the spectator that, so they can see. Okay, now what do you do for a club or diamonds? Basically the same thing. Let's say they think of the eight of, eight of diamonds. You break off, you split right here. So if you leave it face up, you pick it up like that, and you just show, you angle the backs to the spectator as you dribble and show them that all the cards are red. So you say, okay, you could have thought of any card in this red deck, but you thought of the only blue one in the whole entire red deck. And to clean up, instead of putting the card on the top, you're going to return the eight of diamonds on the bottom, and you're going to cut the deck. Now when you cut the deck, make sure that you're going to see a club or a diamond on the bottom, okay? And that's just so the deck is red on the top. So when you cut, if you see a spade, go ahead and cut one more time, and then you'll see a club or something, and then you're able to show the back again to the spectator. If at first, for some reason, you mix the decks together, and when you dribble, it does not come up where only you see blues, if it doesn't work for some reason, all you have to do is switch decks grab a different red or different blue or just completely grab two different both decks and try it again. With all my decks, and I have lots of decks, it's only has, it only hasn't worked with one deck and I don't know why. But I'm sure it'll work with whatever decks you guys try. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoy this effect and once again it is a completely original effect. I didn't take this idea from anywhere. I um, actually came up with it by accident. I was just dribbling the decks and I had a red mix in there. I realized that the red wasn't showing up and I, it just clicked from there. And you can actually come up with your own variations uh, using the same method as I use as the red blue. It can be changed into, oh look, I have a completely blue deck and then you can like do something magical and then look, boom, I just change it to a red deck. You can do whatever you want. And next week I will be teaching a variation I came up with also using the same exact deck Except instead of a, mag or a mentalism trick, it's going to be more of a magic trick. So I'd like to again thank Ben Evans. Uh, check out his channel. Uh, links in below. And if you guys like this trick, make sure you spread it around to as much as magicians as you can. Because I really feel like this can help a lot of magicians that want to do something like an invisible deck but don't have the resources to get one or to make one and when you make one it doesn't always work out. I really like this one. I even like this better than the visible deck because you can, you're can you able to show both the back and front and it just looks like a normal deck. So I love you guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Like this video. Share it. Share it with the world. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.